government today a warning to check your trees for an annual bug that can be a real headache. First population of webworms are starting to show up on Oklahoma trees. Now, these worms won't necessarily kill your tree, but a number of infestations can damage your trees. Some years are worse than others for those critters, and joining us to give us more insight on controlling webworms is Mark Bays from the Oklahoma Forestry Service. <laughs> this guy knew he wanted to be a forester from the time of ninth, ninth grade, grade on. Ninth there grade you in go. high school. That's it. Find, <laughs> find something that you love to do, a hobby you love, yeah. you can get paid for, you never work a day in your life. And you walked into your backyard and you saw worms. Busted. I am busted. <laughs> yeah, know. even in my backyard. You know, <laughs> I dedicated my life to trees and, and they're in my backyard. Yeah, so, so you're not immune. Nobody No, is. not at all. And yeah. this year we're seeing it early. And, and this is a time of the year that we begin to see those. And uh, they're called fall webworms because they, they have a couple of generations per year, but they're actually starting to come out right now. Okay. And you can see them sometimes second and third generation as well. Yeah. The, what a mess. I know. It, and so uh, normally there's two. Last year I think we had three and further south, depending on how warm the uh, you know the, the temperature is starting early in the year, you can even maybe even have as many as four. And by generations we mean first the mom and daddies are there and then their babies and then their grandkids yes. and, yeah. and on and on and on. Right. Now you mentioned that these don't necessarily kill a tree. Right. I've seen people set those on fire trying to stop them. Is that a good idea? No, no. There, there's better ways to do that. That. Yeah. I mean, early right now, what you could do is just break open the webs, okay. and then you expose uh, uh, those uh, insects to predators like wasps. Certain oh. kind of wasps uh, eat them. Okay. Birds will eat them. Okay. Um, you know, so the other thing you can do is prune them off and just discard them. And what's really important about doing it right now is the fact that uh, do it early in this first generation and you're going to be less likely to have others in the future. Okay. Do you advise using pesticides? Are those handy? Y you can uh, during really catastrophic years. We don't know what it's going to be like this year. Okay. Early on, if you do decide to use something, I would suggest using Bacillus thangiensis. Say okay. that. Say it. <laughs> Bacillus thangiensis. It, it, that's it, why it, they pay yeah, you the yeah, big right. bucks. No, it, it, or big B little T. <laughs> okay. and, and, and that's just something that's only targeting those insects. They only target caterpillars. Oh. Now, you can use other chemicals, but then you, know, you might get the pollinators and you might impact them. Uh, you know, there, there are some cases, too, where I've heard of people will say, well, I've got what I can, you know, cure it with. I've uh -huh. heard everything from mothballs to all these different kind of things, but those really aren't labeled for that kind of control. So we suggest, and OSU suggests, you know, just stick to the labels, go with the minimum impact, you know, uh, first, and then if you have to, you know, get more and more, then just move on down the road. What are some of the things that contribute to a bad webworm year? Well, uh, there's predator insects that are out there, and so and some of those insects, you know, the cycles roll through like this, so it could be that the predator insects that normally feed on the tent caterpillars or, or the fall webworms, right. uh, they're, maybe their populations are particularly low. Oh. The other thing is that they, they, the, the adults, the pupa, uh, is in the ground over the winter time, and so they emerge. So maybe the fact that we've had mild summer or mild winters the past couple of years and everything, there's more of those that are emerging out, and so there's a couple of different reasons why we're seeing those populations as high as they've been the last couple of years. I always feel better once you've been here. <laughs> I think I understand the problem better. Wait, wait. You're, wait there's oh, one. Please, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't set it on fire. Yeah, yeah well, I don't want to hit that. <laughs> for more information, check out the Oklahoma Forestry Services website. We have a link at KFOR.com. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah.